Okay, so just a quick video here. I just had a request from a couple of customers. Yeah. I've got a simple model. How do I get my bill of materials from the model? And so what I've done is I've just quickly knocked up here some simple handrail, right? I'm going to fabricate this handrail and I want to have an idea of what I've got. So the first thing I want to do, is just quickly give it some numbers. So I'll pick OK, give it some numbers. The, the system itself will produce for me all the assemblies that exist here, all the single parts, and now I can go and produce my cutting list. Now there's two ways to create a cutting list. Firstly, the easiest way is you come into your bomb templates palette, right? You simply toggle that on or off by using this button, and that will give you this templates area. So I can come and go, give me a beam list. And the system will create for me a beam list. I'll probably put it on my other screen. Just give it a second. Yes, it did. And you can see here I have a bill of materials or a quantity takeoff, cutting list, whatever you want to call it, quantity, part mark, description, length, whatever. All this can be modified to suit what you want. And you can choose to export this to various file formats, PDFs, Excels, TIFFs, PDF, all that stuff, right? I don't want to save that. All right, and there's lots of different variations. So from a part perspective, you can see there's a category for parts. There's lots here, like for example, materialist summary, right? Again, sit and wait for the data to come up. And you can see here, if I stretch this out, I've got a bill of materials. This time it's summarized or grouped by the type of material, giving me the total length required for each material type. Save. Okay, so that's the first way. The second way is to use the create list option. With the create list option, I come in and I say, look, select the complete model based on assembly, click next, and this is my data file, right? Now this data file uh, creates for me an XML file, right? Now the XML file is what gets created automatically when I use this button here. But if I come into this outputs area and I choose my bomb editor, <clears throat> give it a second to load, again, drag it onto the other screen. You can see what I've got here is also what I've got here. So I can come and modify the different tokens, the colors, whatever. But what I can then do is I can say, right, I want to create uh, a saw list with pictures, for example. All right? I hit the use button, which then gives me the option to select, in this case, my data file, which I created before, and we get the exact same result appear in our bomb dialog box, right? Which then gives us a whole bunch of information. Again, we can save it and close it, but they're the two ways to create your bill of materials. Now, once you have saved the bill of materials, if you want to access them, you just come into the document manager and under bill of materials, you literally come in here and say, look, there's one, there's the other. Um, and that's it. That's where they are. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks. Bye.